Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Suhei with Suhei Plans and here on YouTube as well as Instagram and TikTok, I share planning and journaling content. If you enjoyed this video or if you took anything away from my conversation today, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Let's jump in because I'm really excited to share an update of my A5 undated common planner that I am using for work. Um, I've been in this planner since about late August and it has been such a wonderful addition um, to my planning system and I feel confident that this will be my 2025 work planning system as well. It is the common planner is in this Poder Stroll um, which is a collaboration between Hobonichi and Yoshida and company and this is a essentially a carrying case for an A5 planner. Um, it zips almost all the way around the cover. Uh, it is in a green, like a forest green color. This is a, it's amazing quality. It has, had, is, it has held up so well. Um, and I love having my planner in here because I can close her up, uh, zip her up, put straps, put the strap that was included on these D rings here and take it on the go. That's been such a clutch addition to this cover. Very, very handy. It feels amazing. It's so compact and so sleek. I have a whole video um, reviewing this product that you can check out. I've linked to that below, uh, but it is a wonderful cover and I think well worth the price. So, uh, let me open her up and show you, do a flip through of my A5 work planner and my system here. So this case has amazing storage capacity. In this clear pocket, I have sticker sheets kind of held down with an Ollie clip, planner card from Infinite Lotus. On the inside pocket here, I have a... These are like little transparent sticky notes and the backing is also sticky. So it just stays on my, on the nylon of the planner. And those are great for when I need a little transparent sticky and I know that that's there. Then here I have three uh, sticky note pads from Rosie Papa 3 and Infinite Lotus. Um, always using stickies at work. So those are really awesome to have there. Sorry about that. Here I just have some work related papers. Um, I always keep my performance evaluation for the year uh, with me, something to be able to check in to just make sure I'm on task and progress with my goals. I definitely have it as a digital version, but I do love being able to just pull it out anytime um, with my planner system set up here. So here is the undated common planner. I have it tucked into the pocket in the back and just a handful of utensils that I keep, that I'm keeping in the zipper pocket, ruler, um, a Sarasa mark on, highlighter, and I'm just keeping those tucked back there. Pretty simple, pretty simple, I think. Um, and that fits lovely there. And the common planner fits very well in this cover and it zips up beautifully. All right, so I just have like a random work sticker and a name, my name sticker that I got from See Me Draw. This is a monthly reminders for the year, um, like chart. Yeah, obviously it's a chart where I just have tasks that I'm doing once or twice a year and when in the year I'm doing that task so that I don't forget um, because these things are happening so infrequently. That's been really helpful. And this is, you know, the, the common planner has grid, grid paper, so making a chart like this was very easy to do. Took a little bit of time, but that's okay. Um, this is a calendar that I actually purchased as an insert that I just washi taped in here um, where I keep a 2024 calendar. After that, I have an, uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. Slice of Life calendar for 2025 that was just a giant sticker that I could just stick right onto the page. I'm still not sure what I'm going to use this side for, but that's okay. I'm leaving that blank. After that, I'm using the goal breakdown for my 2024-25 goals at work for the year with a quarterly, monthly, and weekly breakdown and some other just notes related to my goals. So I'm using the goal planner for goals. 
So instead of doing quarterly planning with these blank pages, um, that you get like four, four box, four rectangles here, essentially to be able to do an overview and then three months of the year. And here is what that looks like blank. Uh, I think some folks use this for planning in the quarters that they're in, but I actually prefer to use this for future planning, planning for the quarters in the future. Um, and when I think about the future, uh, the way I do that is um, our kind of academic year calendar works from a July to an end of June basis. So then I'm using this quarterly overview for the start of the new academic year. And that's kind of helpful because I can look at some holidays ahead of time and some what are just some future things for us to plan. Um, probably in December, I'll start filling this out for the next three months of the academic year and so on. I'm just not that future focused. Things just are constantly changing at work. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of don't need to do all that up front. After that, I've start, I started uh, just kind of DIYing the monthly spreads. I did some stickers here in September and some washi. And I do like to decorate this. It's really the only kind of decorative opportunity I have in my system other than my journal. So I did that for a couple months with just some simple washi. And I have that filled out through March. Nothing really special or spectacular in the way I do that um, in this planner. Um, I have a Monday through Sunday start. I just use the top corner for the date, but with an undated, you could really put that date anywhere. It's a little bit of sticky and washy and kind of maybe some tasks and, and priorities here, or sometimes I'll do reminders for the month. And then that stays pretty simple. Just wrote, you know, just use my handwriting to write the month. Nothing, you know, not a... It's not like a beautiful, gorgeous setup, and some months I made a little bit more effort than others, but this is fine and works great for me. And I do really like to cross off days. That just helps me in my brain. So then we have some more blank monthlies, and then we jump into the weekly. Uh, let us let me go to a blank page. I think this one is a blank page. So the cover itself comes with these two bookmark straps attached to it, which I think is really, 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 really handy and just a really cool feature uh, of this carrying case in addition to all the other cool features it has. Um, but I kind of purposely left, left up there to show you guys how I'm using it in a blank week. Um, there's no dates at the top because it's undated. So I'll start with the day, the day of the week. It's a Monday through Friday view. And then I use the week, what would be the weekend columns as a large to-do list and then a space for notes. And this is really what works best for me for work. I don't really do much of, if anything, on the weekends. It's really a Monday through Friday uh, job. And so I love that I can transform this layout to exactly the format that I need. Uh, on the left-hand column, I'll just write in a calendar and then a column for reminders. And that is what my week looks like. This has really worked well for me and I've been going strong with this weekly layout since late August. Uh, so you can tell like which are the busier weeks in my planning, but I was thinking initially of getting this in a B5, but I'm glad I didn't because I think that would have been too big, especially as time goes on in the semester and things lighten up. So I'll go to a my other bookmark page, which is here, which kind of shows you how I'll fill it in. So I will use um, probably about halfway or so of the column for the schedule for the day. And because I work eight to five, that could be very constrained to that uh, that amount of space. And then on the bottom of the column will be just a daily task list for the day. So a schedule, daily tasks, weekly tasks, and a space for notes. And I think that really beautifully works for me with my thinking. Um, I'll have any monthly things that I need to consider here. 
uh, but I'm not as much of a monthly planner when it comes to work. Um, working on a week by week day basis, I think is the best for me and what I do. I just, there are a lot of details. And so I find that working on a smaller scale really works for me. But obviously that's gonna very much depend on your job and what you do. So this is a really busy week with a lot of to-dos, but less meetings, which was good because I felt like I could get those to-dos done with less meetings going on. Let's see if I can find a week with heavy meeting time. Uh, I mean, they're all, this was, okay, this was a pretty busy meeting week all in all, and I don't have as many tasks, but that probably works well with my meeting load. Um, and I love that if I need to carry something over into the next week, I can just easily do that. So I've really been digging this system and this layout has worked really, really, really well for me for work planning. Um, I kind of do a couple of weeks as I go. Here I have through the end of December, really. Uh, but we have that big holiday break. So to me, that's kind of why I haven't kept added more weeks. But I'll do that um, probably at the end of November. I'll add some more weeks. And you get all those weeks to be worth a year. I can see myself going through the planner for all 52 weeks in the year with maybe the exception of a week or two here and there where I'm I'm completely out of the office. So that might be a good time to, you know, so maybe I can save like two or three of these spreads to extend my use of the planner before I have to get another undated, which I think is kind of nice and a perk and a, you know, one of the perks of having an undated planner. I'm using the blank grid in the back, very on pace. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to run out before the end of the year. And I just have clear, transparent stickies denoting everyone, I, uh, my supervisor, and then everyone who reports to me, and then a tab at the end for meeting and notes. And, you know, I'm definitely using these pages. I'm not being reserved of how of how frequently I'm using pages back here. I'm just going to like let it rock and see how far I can go um, and not limiting myself to a certain amount of blank pages um, on any particular day. Because I am curious to know from my pace so far, I don't see myself running out. Uh, but I think I could easily, um, well, maybe not easily, but I, I think I'm okay and I am not running out. I think if you were the kind of person who felt like you might run out, um, you know, getting maybe some kind of a booklet, an A5 booklet to uh, carry in the back might be handy. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can also fit a thin booklet here. Hmm, let's see. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Okay, this is just like an A5. This is a full-fledged planner, but... Um, obviously a booklet would be something much thinner. Let's see if I can get that to work. Yeah. Yeah. So you could definitely fit an A5, like a thin A5 book booklet for some additional pages, at least in this cover. Um, if you do run out, if you're using the common planner and you're, and you're running out and this is just to be clear, this is the full. So plenty of pages feeling really good. I don't believe I'll run out. And then after that, I have, I'm have i using an Energel Klena. I was using fountain pen some weeks in here. Oh, sorry, I'm all over the place. And I just got very annoyed by how leaky things were, especially because I travel so much with it. So I'm going to just go back to using a gel pen in here. And so that is my work planner. Everything feels great. The system has been wonderful. I'm really loving the undated. It's super flexible and it's working really well for my needs. Um, and I am absolutely adoring this case. It just works. It looks great. It's so functional. And I love how it can just travel with me at any moment. It is wonderful so i am absolutely in planner peace planner heaven when it comes to my work planner at the moment um i love the flexibility of the layout so much that i don't foresee myself even picking up the academic year version i just love that i can i can do whatever i want with those weekend columns 
Let me know what you guys think. Um, is anybody else using the undated? I don't feel like I see it out there as much, um, but I'd love to know kind of your thoughts on the planner and maybe different ways that you're using it. Does anyone have the Potter Stroll? It is fabulous. Highly recommend um, if it's something, if you think you could use more portability for your planner. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I'll see you guys in the next one.